and your first comedian, getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight. Goes by the name of Pat Griffin, everybody. Here we go. Pat Griffin. Pat Griffin. Uh, Here we go. Whoa, uh, look at this. Oh, yeah. It's going to be one of those nights, baby. Here we go. We're starting it off with a motherfucking bang. It's Pat Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. They tried to kill me out there on that street today. They showed me no mercy, and I had my blinkers on as I made the U-turn. Now, I, I, bet I just rushed over from the senior center. The seniors and the comics all walk around asking the same question. How much time do I have? <laughs> and when they give me the light, I hope it's not at the end of the tunnel. I'm oh. I'm 78. Okay. And the way things are going, I'll be 80 by Christmas. <laughs> okay, well, uh, if, is it a minute up yet? <laughs> wow. Heck yeah. This is a lady that knows exactly when her time is up. Pat Griffin. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like your style, Pat. Welcome to the show. I love this. Uh, you have something over there, Micah? Yeah, dude. Uh, we got Riffin with Griffin over here, and she's got me stiffin' with Griffin. This oh, Pat, I think Micah's got a little crush on you. Would you, uh, you, uh, you Yuck. available? You on the market? Actually, I am. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Take what? her down the road and back again. He reminds me of my grandson. What's that? He's like, he's like my grandson. Heck yeah, that means, you know what that means. Dude, I'm into gilf porn, dude. <laughs> uh, absolutely, doodly. What would be your first move with this, uh, with this young whippersnapper if you had a chance with him? You have any old school moves in the bedroom oh, that you know oh, how to no, do or no. something like that? The, the Great Depression or something like that? Or the, no, 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 the no. World War II, the old... Uh, She's got that good old dust bowl, dude. <laughs> I love it. So welcome to the show, Pat. I want to drop in on her dust bowl. <laughs> all right, all right. Very good, Micah. Okay, so welcome to the show, Pat. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? I, I started about 10 years ago, but about four years ago, I decided to learn how to do it. Hey, I like that. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. I'm in serious. I like your style. Where, uh, you live here in Los Angeles? I live in Pleasanton, California. I came down with Nicole Tran. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. So what have you been doing your whole life? You're 78 years old. You got pulled first tonight. What yeah. you been doing? What's going on? Well, I, I actually did, uh, did stand-up comedy in French this year. Oh, really? I didn't do it well, but I did it. Oulez-vous coucher avec quoi ce soir? Hell yeah. What made, you, uh, what made you want to do it in French? Well, because I, I went to high school there, and I went back to see my friends, and I found a open mic at, that they had. It was booked, actually. It's not quite open. But anyway, I arranged to do it once in French and once in English two weeks later. And I had a ball. I had an absolute Heck ball. yeah, that's so cool. That's awesome. Look at you knocking it all off your bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no... <laughs> Uh-oh. Grim Reaper suit. No, 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 Pat. That doesn't mean anything. Don't let... It doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, did you have a... Uh, dude, she thought the real Grim Reaper was your <laughs> part, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's literally like, oh, I gotta go. She's like, that's my time, literally. Bye. <laughs> yeah, when they give you the one-minute light, do you ever want to go into it, dude? I, she literally made that joke in her stand-up, Joel. Keep oh, dude, I don't us. listen to old people, dude. Clearly, Joel is keeping some of that hot momentum from last week going here tonight. 
I don't listen to anybody over 25, dude. <laughs> I love it. So, Pat, have you had any jobs in your life or anything like that? Tell us about your life, like your whole life. Do you not talk about that anymore? Well, I have. I had a sweetie. Oh, yeah? yeah. What happened? He died. But oh, he did? <laughs> oh, that's sad. How long ago was that? It was four years ago when I decided to become a comic. I love that. Well, that's good. Look at that. You filled it with something positive that you're yeah. good at and that yeah. people like. I mean, it's so fun. It's amazing. We love seeing people, I say it every episode, different shapes and sizes and styles. We haven't had some a sweet old lady on, I mean, since... Well. I mean, well, actually, we had the Southern Bells last week, uh, the band was, but uh, I love your style. Very cool. What do you guys think about this young little whippersnapper, Pat Griffin? Well, uh, yeah, listen, you, you made me laugh, you know what I mean? I think it's great that you're doing this right now. Look, this is a proof that you can start at any time, you know what I mean? If you just continue with it and, you know, hopefully by 83, you'll... Yeah. You know what I mean? You'll be running the circuit in L.A., you know what That's I mean? right. <laughs> That's well, you don't have to be afraid of anything anymore. I, I, I feel you. Except, yeah, she's I, not I, afraid. I really liked her energy. <laughs> um, I, no, I, I really did. Yeah, no, I know. Like, when she came up here, yeah. I was like mesmerized. Yeah. Because her dress as well, and yeah. she had enough guts to do it, and yeah. I thought you were great. Yeah. yeah. I, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Are you ticklish? Probably not. No? Probably. Does it go away? Where you, did you used to be ticklish? <laughs> Red band. I mean. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Micah. Uh, this may be a personal question, but have you uh, kissed anybody since uh, your sweetie? <laughs> no? Would you like to? Oh, lots of. I have a lot of brothers and sisters. Oh. oh. Have you done a non platonic kiss? Have you done? I would, I would freaking kiss you right here and right now, dude. Wow, how about that? What do you think? What do you think? You want a little. Uh, what do you. This is my, this is my grandson. <laughs> Come on, give her. Why don't you give him a little, give him a little smoocheroonie? What do you guys say? How does that go? Micah, be the aggressor here. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. I'm so glad we didn't make a scene. <laughs> no, that was great. No, yeah, you guys save that for later. He's gonna, you're going you're gonna to be using that uh, cum towel that you've been holding oh, on to on. there. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Griffin, I'm telling you right now, you're an instant legend on this show. Thank you for coming on. There she goes. Pat Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. That's a way to get things started. Fuck yeah, Pat. Hell yeah. All right. Brian, don't scare the poor I thing. I know. As soon as he opened his mouth, I got nervous. Like, yeah. uh-oh. Yeah. What is Red Band going to say? Her and Red Band are dangerous <laughs> combination because they both have two years to live. Ah. Uh. So. <laughs> mm. She probably has better knees than Red Band, though. <laughs> I bet she could definitely squirt better than me. Oh, come oh, on. Dead Trash band. Trash can. Dead band. <laughs> Dead band. <laughs> Why would you give us that visual? <laughs> now all I can think about. Okay. Saw so, dude. My name's Micah. <laughs> Micah. My goodness, Micah. Uh, what are you? Dude, what do you mean, man? I'm straight born and raised in California, bro. Wait, what? You're just, you guys are just California guys? Yeah, dude. I mean, we do extreme sports. I mean, I don't really know if you want to put a label on it, but yeah, dude. Wow. Like, I'm wearing a New York hat because I'm from L.A., and that's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, Micah. I'm glad that you're here. On rollerblades, Chroma Chris came out on a boogie board. Boogie board, world champion boogie boarder. <laughs> oh, you're a world champ. What's oh, your name? My name's Max. Sub. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max. Well, welcome to the show. And then uh, clearly back here we have what appears to be a uh, Mexican stepdaughter of some uh, kind. Uh, I know you are, but what am I, dude? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the name's Josue, dude. Josue. Josue. Jose. All like right. a no way Jose, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be fun. We have the whole crew up here. This is exciting stuff. Uh, David, you want to move that uh, sack stand somewhere there? This the system that we have is uh, pretty sloppy. There you go. Uh, how about one more time for David Deary going around? Uh, oh, he loves it. He loves it. 
He loves it so much. So we have Micah, Max, and Joe Sway, uh, California residents that are into extreme sports. It's pronounced Ho Sway, dude. How wide are you, dude? <laughs> that's, that's what I said. Uh, and uh, we have Eric Griffin, Stevie Weeby, Hi. Brian Soundboard, and this, the Bucket of Destiny, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, there is uh, someone who's silent but deadly that plays an amazing role in every single one of these episodes. It's the great sound guy, Danny Lucas, up there, uh, way up in the bird's nest up there. He's actually in an unbelievably awesome band called the Cold Blue Rebels, yes. and they have a brand new EP. It's available everywhere. It's called The House That Frank Built. The artwork on the album cover is from our very own Ryan J. Ebelt. And get it now. Again, that's Cold Blue Rebels with their new EP, The House That Frank Built, available everywhere right now. So check that out, you diehard Kill Tony fans. If you like, you know, what would you call that, Danny? Hardcore rockabilly? Is that what it is? Psychobilly. Psychobilly. I love it. I love it. I'm glad I'm on your good side, Danny Lucas. You don't want to make a psychobilly guy mad at you. I have, uh, Danny and I have had uh, a lot of fun in the 12 years that I've known him. He is what I would consider a cool, bold dude. Cool, bold dude. Cool, bold dude. CBD.